a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end, upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it, and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The words of the Old Testament, prophet Isaiah, quoted here before you, ring down through the years, over 2,000 of them, to us today. Who do they describe? Of whom do they speak? They tell of the Messiah, the promised one, the Christ, who was to be the Savior of mankind. He is the one who was promised as early as the Garden of Eden, when God said that the seed of the woman would one day bruise the heel of a serpent, and the serpent would bruise the heel of the woman's seed. But there were other prophecies as well, words telling us how he would be born. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a son. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, shall call his name Emmanuel. And even where he would be born. And now that the land, and the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. But out of you shall come a governor, that shall rule my people Israel. That's enough prophecy for now. We have met together to hear the fulfillment of the prophecies, of the coming of the Messiah, the promised one, the one who came all those years ago on the very first Christmas. generations of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham, Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob. The coming of the Messiah was of no small importance. It was imperative that he come just as the scriptures had foretold, and at just the right time. The writers of the gospel not only tell us of his genealogy, but they tell us about the facts surrounding his birth as reported by eyewitnesses. Phyllis begat Obed and Ruth, and Obed begat Jesse. And Jesse begat David the king, and David the king begat Solomon, of her that had been the wife of Uriah. And Solomon begat, For as much as many have taken in, had to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are believed among us, even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word, it seemed good to me to write unto thee, that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. And Jacob begat just Joseph the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are fourteen generations, and from David until the carrying away into Babylon are fourteen generations, and from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are fourteen generations. All of these things were written down in God's word, the Bible so that we can know that they all happen and that they all are true. And that is one of the reasons we are able to bring you this program, Christmas by the Word.
And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto the city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. She was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the High. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know thy name? The Holy Ghost came upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, who shall also conceive a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called bare. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the hand of the Lord, let it be unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste, into a city of Judah, and entered into the house of Zacharias, and saluted Elizabeth. Came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. She spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord would come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a my soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowly state of his handmaid. For, behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done great things, and holy is his name. And Mary abode with her about three months, and returned to her own house. Mm -hmm. 